Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Man. I friggin' hate the internet. <sighs> and uh, technology is just... You know, it's, I was just watching videos of me earlier in the day, and now, and now I'm all mellowed out now. I've had a few things since then, but... Ugh. YouTube. Tricky one. Okay. So, I received this yesterday in the mail. This is the Aspire Nautilus. Um, I've seen an Aspire as life changing as their thing. And I will say this their tank is pretty good. Um, life changing, possibly, for sure. It is. Delicious. A little bit more money. <clears throat> so the story goes, I try to keep, I like technology as far as vaping goes, I guess. So I was on Kanger Tech's website, and they're coming out with an aero tank. So I searched for a, a review on it, and then I found the review for this, which has an adjustable air uh, airflow. Uh, Todd... Toddy Six, he's in my subscriptions. You can check him out. He's the one that I watched. Uh, it was about a 17 minute video, but real good. Um, different vibe than indoor smokers. A um, little bit between the both of us, I'd say. It's a uh, <clears throat> man. It is a good tank, and I was very pleased. So you get your beauty ring. Comes with strange coils. This is a 1.8. And it comes with a 1.6 locked and loaded. Are you gonna draw those pistols? You gonna keep whistling Dixie? Name that movie in the comments. Go for it. Surprise me. Impress me. Um, five mil tank. Solid enough to flick. Not solid enough to drop. I would not drop this tank and be hopeful for its, uh, uh, I don't think it would hold up very well. Pretty tank, though. Gotta say. It's all, like, sleek, you know. Bink. Drip tip. Big hole. Uh, I gotta learn the numbers of a 510. No, not 510. But it should should fit most. It doesn't really fit my orange one very well. I don't know. I've had different luck with drip tips and <clears throat> compatibility. So, my favorite. I just hate wasting juice when I have to switch my coil. It's like, it gives me friggin' anxiety sitting there with my unitank. And I'm like, oh man, I hope... I hope this coil lasts this juice. I only got a little bit of, you know, pink spot gummy bear left. I gotta... Oh, and then the coil dies, and I just filled it. So I gotta, like, monitor my own shit. I guess if you were gonna use the puff counter for anything, <clears throat> you could probably monitor your puffs and tanks and... I don't know. So someone probably did it. You should do it. And then post a video, and I'll subscribe to it. Yeah, you do the work. Yeah, that's better. You. Yeah, you. Do it. I did. And then I'll like you, and then you'll get my subscribers. It's like a pyramid scheme. Kinda. You know, like one of those things. I used to work for door-to-door -door sales. I'm gonna just start taking this apart while I talk. Uh, there's airflow ring here, which I showed you in my preview video that was kinda sound and video weren't syncing up very well uh, apologize for that so the bottom just unscrews here uh, there it is um, and I forgot what I was talking about anyways so back to the topic at hand all right so there's uh, that plastic, it's, it's this plasticky material that's threaded, uh, you see right there. 
Freaking real snug, which I like. No leaks. Um, someone commented before, no leaks on his end either. Um, the fuck? Oh, wow. Well, you guys are here for the first time this has happened. So, the coil. Huh. Looks like the coil screws into the bottom. Every time I've done it, the coils come out. Hold on. What the fuck is going on here? Strange. Well, we're learning it together. Yeah. It's kind of odd, so... <sighs> Man, my kingdom for like a stand. Stay. All right. So for some reason the coil stayed screwed in. That didn't happen before. It just did. So there's one thing there, which to some may seem to be a drawback. Uh, but it's all right. Let's give me a good uh, bird's eye view here. Yeah. Yeah. No fluids getting in there at all, really. I mean, it is freaking... The way this is set up is pretty unique, I gotta say. I mean, this bottom piece got some weight to it. And um, it's flush at the bottom, so... That... touches the flush bottom that sits flush with your battery so pretty pretty tight squeeze there which is nice um okay Let me make sure this is uh dried off i wish i had like some napkins but i don't just pop that in there bingo bingo <clears throat> screw the coil back in to the bottom piece <clears throat> so this fluid is a 70-30 mix of VG it's from Juicy Juice it's called Dream it's uh, very delicious it tastes like a pink starburst This top piece comes off too. So you can get the whole tank to yourself. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking it off though. Load this up on my eye taste, which uh, is version one. I saw a video, uh, Tia Vapes in my subscription. She, it's her go-to. It is my go-to as well. Uh, Man, I've thought about other ones of variable voltage and stuff, and I really just can't convince myself yet because this is so good, so new to me, even version 1. So we're going to start out at about 3.5, and this is with a 1.6 coil. And this is going to be at the, just to make sure, so counterclockwise the dots are going to get bigger. So we're going to start at the smallest one, and it does click into place. Good vapor production, um, comparatively, you'll see, not as good as it's going to get. Real tight draw, a lot of flavor, a lot of flavor. Pretty good. Now, I got to say, best way to compare this to anything else is it's like having four tanks on this one tank you just turn it and boom you got a new draw you got new airflow going in there so it resembles a tank that you might have vaped out of before the tight draw one uh, nothing comes to mind yet 
that I've done it out of like that. So we'll, we'll go one up here. A little looser. Kind of looks, uh, kind of looking like a little bit of unit tank there with a little bit of tightness, a little bit of resistance there on the pull and but not too much. So we'll go one more here. Yeah, one more. Yeah, that seems to be the sweet spot, I gotta say. That is pretty good. Take one more for you. too shabby and the grand finale not the grand finale just the finale and then grand Nice. Okay, so we'll do this. Crank it up. 3.9 on a 1.6. Hmm. Can only do it a couple times. And lots of airflow. For sure. <laughs> Tingles of the nostrils. Delicious, though. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, there's not much more I can really say about it. If you like options, if options are your thing. I'd say this is for you. Pretty simple, too. Like, I, I don't want to even say, like, a beginner would have any trouble. Like, it might be a little bit, ooh, little things to turn, but I gotta say, I'm a fan of the Nautilus. The naughty Nautilus.